In this video, we will examine a number of approaches to multi-threading. As such, we need several targets and several methodologies to look at. The first will be native threads with the Microsoft compiler. The second will be native threads with the Intel compiler. Third, we will look at Silk. Now, Silk can only be used within the Intel compiler. However, it will still give us a really good idea of its performance. After that, we'll look at threaded building blocks. And once again, we can only use the Intel compiler for that. And then we'll look at OpenMP with the Microsoft compiler and OpenMP with the Intel compiler. Now, once we have our results, we can take a look and see which of these perform the best and maybe help us make better choices in the future. OK, so here is our non-threaded benchmark. This will give us an idea of how long these calculations will take if we're not using multi-threading. Notice that I have a do calculations function here and it's doing some math that will definitely take some time. It's also doing it 50 million times so that will compound it. Okay, I simply call this four times and the parameter just determines whether it starts at zero or 50 million or 100 million or 150 million. So it calls this four times in a row. So let's just take a look and see how the performance is. Pretty bad, 4,945 milliseconds. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and multi-thread this. And we're simply going to use the Windows multi-threading API and call create thread, which will call a method up above that will just call the do calculations. Okay, so let me go ahead and run this and see what kind of performance we get. Much better, 858 milliseconds. Very good. Now let's go ahead and set for the Intel compiler. I know that's outside the recording area, so you probably can't see me doing that. So from 858, we're going to take a look and see what happens with the Intel compiler. So we go from 858 to 796. Next on the list is Silk. And as you can see, the syntax for using Silk is simpler than just using the Windows API create thread. Um, and here I call do calculations four times and I wait for all four of them to be finished and I will show you a time. So let's go ahead and run that and see what we get. 327. Pretty significant improvement. Let me write that down. And as we do our comparisons, you'll see that that may be one of the best times we get. Now on to threaded building blocks. And as with Silk, this is only available with the Intel compiler. So let me go ahead and run this. See what happens. Not very good. 1,046 milliseconds. Let me run it one more time just to make sure that wasn't a glitch. Okay, that's 920. And I'm going to take the better of those two times. However, I'm sure you noticed right now that that was, so far, that's the worst time we've got. So let's continue on. And our last test will be OpenMP with both the Microsoft and Intel compilers. Here I'm set for the Microsoft compiler. So let me go ahead and run this. 717. Okay, and I'll set for the Intel compiler. Go ahead and run it, see what we get. Six hundred eleven. So here are the results. The Windows API with the Microsoft compiler was pretty much the same as the Windows API with the Intel compiler. Then when we get to Silk Plus, there was a distinct advantage. Silk Plus seemed to give much better performance. Threaded building blocks, on the other hand, seem to be a very poor performer. And lastly, OpenMP on both the Microsoft compiler 
were second best. OpenMP on the Intel compiler, obviously, the very best. So the conclusion, try to use Silk Plus if you can. After that, consider using OpenMP. Obviously, the Intel compiler gave a slightly better performance than the Microsoft, than the Microsoft compiler. After that, all the methods are about the same. Hopefully, this will help you make good decisions in the future.